10 News at 5.30. No other way to put it. This is a horrible case of animal cruelty. It's under investigation tonight after a chihuahua is found dead in a burned out crate. The Arizona Humane Society working with police to find the person who did this, and let's hope they do. Fox 10's Irene Snyder is live with what happened, Irene. Christina and John, good evening. Animal rescue officials say they found the dog in this area of West Phoenix earlier this week. Now, those who responded to the call say this may be the worst case of animal cruelty they have ever seen. A brown chihuahua cast off on the side of the road with severe burns. The dog for now is nameless, and animal rescue officials have yet to even determine its gender. But what they do know is that this was a life that's now lost. We're out on cases every day, uh, but again, it never gets easier, it, regardless of how many you've been on or the type of situation that it's been involved in. The dog was found in the area of 43rd Avenue and Ocotillo Road. Officials with the Arizona Humane Society say they respond to over 6,200 animal cruelty investigations every year. But one responder in this case said that seeing this chihuahua lying dead inside a burn-up and melted case was the worst scene she's ever been called to in her 23-year career. I think that alone just gives an indication of just how heartbreaking and senseless it is. Spokesperson for the Humane Society, Breda Nelson, is now urging people to be on the lookout and to report anything suspicious before it's too late. If you see something, say something, and there's a way you can do so in a safe manner. If you are ever a pet owner struggling, there are resources out there for you, uh, and animal cruelty will not be tolerated. And the dog's body was taken to Midwestern University. They're going to perform a necropsy there to determine the cause of the dog's death. And they're also offering a $1,000 reward to get some answers about who was behind this animal cruelty. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News. New details.